Hey guys, I'm Tyler here, and I thought that I would make a video, like I promised to. Um, I came up with the idea myself, of course, like I thought I would, because, you know, nobody wants to help me. They know that I'm the idea maker and the thinker and all that sort of stuff, so I guess that's why they didn't give me any ideas, so... It's okay, I'll forgive you. Truthfully, I would have been making more YouTube videos a lot sooner. And I actually took a long break from YouTube. I took a long break from writing. I took a long break from practicing guitar and making vines, which I recently just started on the other day. And so what I wanted to kind of break down is uh, why exactly I have been away from so much social media. Um, I'm not going to go into broad details with it because I don't want to put names out there. I don't want to call people out, but I probably will anyway, and I really don't care anymore because I want people to get something out of this because I feel like people can get something out of it, maybe. Well, I have a confession to make, y'all. I suffer with depression. Like so many people in the world who are normal people, normal working class people, who have a job, who go to school, who do everything that they can to have a better life, sometimes you just can't help it and you crack. It's that simple. You crack. So what happened is, is that about six months ago, I lost the majority of my friends and what I called back then my support system. But they weren't really a support system now that I look back at it. Pretty much these people were really toxic for me. And that's probably why I suffer with depression is because I bottled it in every time I'd hang out with them and stuff and it just it bothered me because they would say things to me that offended me they would do things to me that offended me and they would talk their mouths off in front of me and behind me a lot of people ask me they say how do you deal with bad friends okay I'm really close with these people I've known them for years but I get the feeling that they're talking crap about me behind my back I get the feeling that they don't really like me and they only use me for my things. What do I do? And my answer to that, if somebody asked me that now, would be, um, say bye-bye to them because they're terrible people. Uh, awful, terrible, horrible, trash, garbage, you name it. Because no friend, absolutely no friend at all, should be, one, taking advantage of you, number two, making you feel like your trash and number three shouldn't make you feel like there's these little suspicions in your brain that oh maybe they're talking crap about me or maybe they're saying stuff about me behind my back or maybe they really secretly don't like me and they only use me because I have a swimming pool in my backyard it should pop into your head that um hello these are terrible people but if you were in the situation that I was in, you weren't thinking that. You were just thinking, oh my god, you know, what is wrong with me? You, you get these thoughts in your head and you're just thinking to yourself, what is the matter with myself? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to them to make them act like that toward me? And then it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. You're hearing all these lies that they said about you. They're going behind your back. They're, they might even be flirting with somebody that you really like that you told them that you liked. And then that's when you go, I'm done. I can tell you right now that, you know, it has been a rough process for me as somebody who has been extremely strong, I, if I must say so myself throughout the majority of my teenage years. I was bullied, I was picked on a lot, and people called me names. And, you know, for someone who went through that, sure, I had my moments. I cried myself to sleep at night like most kids do when they're bullied, trust me. But, you know what I did? I got up from that bed right here, and I said, it's 7 o'clock. It's time for me to go to school now. I need to get dressed. I need to brush my teeth. I need to go use the bathroom. And I need to get out 
and wait for the bus. I am so thankful that I was a strong individual that I got up every morning and I did it the same thing last year when I dealt with all this crap. I look myself in the mirror and I, you know, fix my hair and stuff and I'm brushing my teeth and washing my face and I look at myself and I go, Tyler, at least you look pretty today. You don't really notice the sadness, now do you? So the moral of the story is that if you have toxic friends, please get them out of your life. I can almost guarantee you that there are much better people out there for you who will support you and love you and appreciate every single little thing about you. Every single little thing about your music taste. Every single little thing that goes on in your brain. Loves to come over to your house and sits there and talks to you about weird stuff and laughs with you and cackles with you and all this sort of stuff and they're really cool with you and then they go around and they tell their other friends I have a really cool friend, you know that? As a result, I want to give a shout out to my best friend Marty and my best friend Rodney because these are two people who I think show a good example of someone who is a true friend someone who is selfless and someone who is a wonderful person, really. I literally heard my best friend Marty tell her sister-in-laws uh, at McDonald's, I heard her say, Don't you think Tyler's cool? He's such a cool guy. Don't you think? He's got the coolest clothes in the world. He, he listens to the coolest music. He's like the coolest kid that I know of. And that, my friends, is a true friend. I also want to give a shout out to my cousin Kat because she has helped me get through so so much stuff that it's unbelievable. She's been here with me for years, almost 10 years actually, um, eight years and counting. And I've talked to her almost every day since then. And she has helped me get through so much with this and has made this process go by so much quicker and made me feel better of myself and made me feel like I was an individual and not a piece of furniture like so many people who I used to be friends with did. And I'm really proud of that. And you can too. You can find friends just like that. You can find those friends. I know you can. I have faith that you will. And I have faith that if you are suffering from depression, that you'll eventually get out of it. And just know that if you ever want to talk to somebody, just know I'm here. I can give you my Twitter. You can direct message me. And I'll help you. That's simple. Or I'll direct you to a phone line where you can talk to somebody. That's simple. There is a solution to all this. I know there is. And I found that solution and now I'm better. And now I'm back on YouTube. And I'm going to be making more videos. So expect to find another video in the very near future. Because you will. Probably next week. Because I have some ideas churning in my brain. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful year. And I hope that everything goes well for you. And you find exactly what you want. Because you deserve it. Just as much as I do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.